touchdown. Here's Myers to boot it away. Taking it about the one. And he is going to dive to the turf. Boy, a strange return there. And they're going to start with really terrible field position. Only able to get it to the two-yard line on his return. Not going to make a lot of friends on your team when you only get it that far. Back to throw now in his own end zone. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. The 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Deontay Johnson, 98 yards. And the Steelers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. You have fun with this one, partner? I am. I mean, he's been fun to watch under center. We always talk about, you know, getting to the next level, right? When we see people get into the zone, this guy's in the master class right now. What a performance he's putting on, just carving him up. Four touchdown passes, carving him up is right. Seems like everything he throws is going to be a completion and going in the end zone. Boswell good with the extra point, and the lead is up to 18 now. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this taken in at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Justin Herbert leading this unit out for their next possession. Last series, the ball never hit the ground. Six of six, touchdown pass, so whatever he did then, do it again, right? Yeah, it reminds me a lot of when I watched the best quarterbacks throw seven on seven, or even routes versus air. They're accurate, the receivers catch it, never touches the ground or if you want to take it to basketball a well-executed fast break right pass 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 finish at the rim basket yeah ball never hits the ground there either Eckler gonna get it again on second down just a couple on the ground there and that's gonna bring up third and about six they know that old expression it's not my night it hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Herbert. And that's complete to Trey McKinney, the tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best. and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and ten at the 46. Justin Herbert looking to pass. This is swung out to Eckler. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Up 
Looking to throw. Herbert. I'm uh, not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Fourth down for Herbert. Desperation time. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. Rudolph going to lead the Steelers up now first and 10 at their own 37. Play clock down to zero, and this is not the way to start a drive. Play game offense. Unbelievable. So that'll back him up five. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. And he'll give it here to his running back. Without the previous penalty, that would have been a first down. Instead, it's just a gain of 10. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Still second down. So the delay of game penalty moves it back five. That makes it second and ten. Here's Rudolph on play action. Flush to his right. Now on the run, he'll throw it back deep over the middle. That's caught inside the 20. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Juju Smith-Schuster with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Steelers add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win 